Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the Entry Level Metal Series. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on the channel. Uh, if you don't know anything about us, what we do is we go out and purchase guitars on our own dime. We're not sponsored. Uh, we come in and review them, and then we give you guys a chance to win. Yeah, all you gotta do to win them is share the video to a different platform, like the video that you are wanting to win the guitar from, um, subscribe, and comment done, D-O-N-E, in the comments. It's that easy, guys. Um, good luck to everybody. Stay tuned. Welcome to Fred Knott. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the Entry Level Metal Series. <laughs> really? You, you guys notice anything different tonight? Really? We have two guitars. So real quick like, so you understand what's going on. We're only reviewing one of these tonight, but the other one is gonna be on the next review. And we had originally planned on one of these tonight, but the other one came in today. So in the last hour and five minutes, we have QC <laughs> the guitar that we're reviewing. Uh, we have recorded you a live and we're going to have enough time to get you guys our thoughts on it. And if you don't know one of these guitars, you've probably never seen a review on. Mm -mm. I know I haven't. One of them's brand new. It just came out at the end of last week. We jumped on it. We got it because we want to be the first to review it. And as of an hour ago, I don't think anybody's reviewed it yet. No. So... Um, Please go uh, to the channel and check out our memberships, man. Our memberships are live. We'd really appreciate you guys getting involved on that. Any little thing that you can do helps us. It helps us keep the lights on, and it helps us do these types of things for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a big super thanks button. You can just click on that if you want to donate to the channel. Anything helps. So through the magic of video, <laughs> one of these guitars is about to disappear. And we're going to do a review on the other one, but fret not, because the other one will be on the review next. Shusha. And through the magic of video, one of them disappeared. Mm -hmm. We're back. <laughs> All right, so we got lots to talk about. Uh, we got a really uh, good setup for, you, for the review tonight. I hope you guys enjoy it. So, what are you holding? We've got the Spyro S. 407 MBK or Matt Black. Right. So, if you don't know, the other guitar I was holding is a Jet. So, here's the story on this. We ordered the Jet, and I think the day that we ordered the Jet, um, Jet's sister company, which is brand new, and it's spelt Spira. Um, I heard somebody pronounce it Spira. So it's either Spira or Spira. Don't know 100% yet. I'm going with Spira. Spira. That's their sister company. So I guess what Jet has decided to do is they've decided to keep making their guitars in their line, which are more akin to vintage style guitars, you know, mm -hmm. traditional stuff. And they created this secondary company to get more into the heaviness. Now they have six strings, seven strings. I didn't see an eight, um, but they... They do have a lot of different things. Unfortunately, the day I ordered, all they had was a few models because it was brand new. I ordered the day they came out, and uh, that came in today. So we decided to do that review instead of the Jet. But don't fret. The Jet's coming up next. And um, so far, we've had it for an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. if that tells you anything. So everything you're hearing tonight was done in an hour and a half. So it's a poplar body, but it's roasted. So it's very lightweight. Um, it has a roasted maple neck, mm -hmm. which is really cool. It has an ebony tech fretboard, which is a man-made ebony. Um, plays really well, feels like ebony. It has 24 jumbo frets. It has locking tuners. It has a hip shot style bridge mm -hmm. and it has two of what they call their villain pickups and that's going to be in this whole line because they're all kind of designed to do a heavier tone right so um i jumped on this because 
even though I had ordered the jet, it hadn't even come in. And so I kind of bought two of these guitars kind of out in the wind and didn't really know what we were going to get. And uh, the jet came in. We're going to do a review on that. And then this came in and we just <sighs> wanted to hopefully be the first or close to the first to get this out to you. Um, these guitars are made in China. They're based out of the UK, so these will ship out of the UK. We'll get to price point, how you get it, all that good stuff here in a minute. Um, you have played it more in the last 45 minutes than I have. I've played it for 20 minutes or so before you got to the, uh, before you got here, but what do you think about it? I think it's a blast to play on. Uh, I really like it, and we'll get to the price in a minute, yep. but... Uh, I kind of, I really feel like it's worth it. Like especially if you don't have a seven string and you're and you're kind of wanting to dabble in the world of sevens, but you don't want to shell out maybe around a grand for one. Mm -hmm. This is this is a really good way to to ch you know just get one. So um, I I'd, I'd had a little bit of time to do a little bit of research, and from what I understand, and this is just off of a video, from what I understand, they designed these guitars to where you didn't have to get them and mod them. You didn't have to do nothing to them. Mm -hmm. Um, they're, they're good price on them, but like I played it for about 20 minutes before you recorded your live on it. And I don't think you need to change those pickups. No, they sound really good. I, I was pleased with the way they sound. So what we're going to do, man, is we're going to shut up and we're going to let you hear this in a mix. And then we're going to come back and explain a little bit more about it. We're going to talk price <laughs> point, how you get it, how much time it took to get it and what we think of the overall value. Yep. We'll be right back. You got to hear it in a mix. Mm -hmm. You were the one that did the mix on it. What do you think? I like it a lot. It, it's a blast to play on. Uh, the tone is great. I really like the fretboard as well. Um, again, we don't really know what kind of strings they put on here, but they're not terrible, you know, straight out of the box. I think that's the best set of strings I've seen come on a Chinese guitar. Yep. You know what I mean? I'm not praising them. I would change the strings if I kept it. Uh, that's up to you if you win it. Um, so Spira, as I said before, Spira is the sister company to Jet, but they're focused on this style of music. They have six strings, seven strings. I believe every one of the guitars are going to come with the villain pickups. Um, so they're going to be really um, heavy. Yeah, they're, they're going to be a heavy. Metal. Yeah, they're made for metal. That's or, what or the owner of the company said. That's why they designed this line. Intended for metal. Right. Mm -hmm. So as of uh, the shooting of this video, there was a couple of places in Europe that had these in stock, but they only had a few. So I ended up getting the matte black. Now they make this in a flame maple. Uh, they make it in some really cool colors. They make it in a poplar burl. Um, and it's not but a few dollars more. Um, this guitar was $366. Um, and with the specs that's on it, man, that's really good. Considering how well it plays and how well it sounds, 
Um, if you had to pay 366 for this and then take everything off of it and mod it, maybe not. Uh, but I really don't think you got to do nothing to this guitar. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you should have to do very much. You know, not unless you wanted to. And like we mentioned before, it's it's got locking tuners on it yep. already. Yep. So I mean, that's that's not bad. That roasted maple neck is great. That Ebony Tech fretboard is really good. It feels good. It plays good. I mean, it plays like it's a, worth a lot more money than what you've put into it. Now they yeah. make this. I said in in different colors. They make it in different. You know, with flame maple, with a, a poplar burl type look to it. And it's really like $50 difference to get that. Yeah. The problem was, because I tried to be the first, it's basic colors. That's all yeah. I got. So, that's what we got. And that's what we'll be giving you guys and get a chance to win it. Um, the guitar is really lightweight mm -hmm. because of that, um, that roasted poplar body and the roasted maple neck. So, it makes it kind of lightweight. It is. Um. I think, honestly, the only thing I would do to that guitar is change the strings. Uh, and it's simply because I don't trust anybody with strings. I'd, I'd put some different strings on yeah. it, you know. Uh, but that guitar, I hope you heard some of it in the mix. Um, that guitar, I, I wouldn't be scared to jump up and play that at any point in time, put that in rotation, or just play it all the time. It's a good little guitar. Yeah, it's it's really comfortable as well. It, you know, it's It's got the little cutout right here. It's got a nice cutout right there, so it just kind of fits just really nice to the body oh and i, like I don't know lot. if you noticed or not but it is string through the bridge is string through so that's really good on sustain and and overall tone mm -hmm. um you know i probably give this on fit and finish now this is the very first run of them so i don't know what's going to happen in the future but I, you know that's probably a nine nine and a half out of ten as far as quality yeah um the way it's put together i mean it i tell you what the neck reminds me of and the jet neck both remind me kind of like a Vola neck. Do they? Yeah, they have yeah. that kind of same feel to them. And uh, if you know anything about Vola, man, that's a that's a really high quality Japanese guitar. So the fact that you're getting a semblance of that close to that uh, for this kind of money is fantastic. Yeah. So uh, like I said, I had to order this from the UK. I ordered it from a store over there. There's a couple stores that have it. There will be a store in America uh, that'll be stocking these, but it probably won't be till the first of the year. But overall, I'm extremely impressed with what the product is that they put out. I'm impressed with the prices. I wish I didn't have to pay um, to get it over here from the UK to America. But even if you're in this 400 bucks, um, I, I think that guitar is well worth it. I do too. It, it plays really nice. Uh, the neck on it is kind of similar to... Uh, my Schecter is 7 it? I have, yeah. So it's just really kind of comfortable for me to play. It just kind of feels like home. Well, I did get the other guitar first, and I, like I said, I ordered both of them in the blind. And when I played the first guitar, and you're going to get to see that next week, I was like, man, if that Sp Spira is anything like this, uh, we got a winner. Yeah. So um, make sure you go on there and check these people out. Uh, do your research. Um, I think these were released at the Guitar Summit uh, last Friday. So they've only been out a couple of days. There's, there hasn't been time to get them you know, out and get videos on them and stuff. Um, but of the entry level or the modest price guitar manufacturers, I think Jet knocked it out of the park on this. Yeah. Um, you're not over. I mean, there, I guess there is a few jets that kind of get up around seven, eight hundred, maybe a thousand bucks, but the majority of their line is anywhere from two to four hundred dollars. Nice. And I've been really impressed with what we've seen so far and what we've put our hands on. Yeah, I, I'm excited to get more from each of them. Right. Yeah, especially these. I'd like to see you know what other kind of sevens. You know, they've got, they've got they some really and... cool stuff, but the problem was it was all available for order except this. And they had three colors of this. They had a white, a kind of a wine red, and a black. And I was like, it's freaking metal. I wanted to get the white. You know me. Yeah. But we've done a lot of white guitars, so I just quelled that for a little while. And I said, we'll just get the black, yeah. you know, because the black works with everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, black is nice. Um, the, the knobs on it, the tone knobs, the switch, I'm not going to tell you they're super high end, but they feel like it. Everything feels like you spent a lot of money on this guitar. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I mean, you might be at 400 bucks. If you're in Europe, you may not even be at 400 bucks. Yeah. They're not, they're not super loose. They have got, they've got like just the 
the right amount of resistance that just makes them feel soft yep. when you turn them and they're nice and they're textured on the edges. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they're pretty nice knobs. So you got jumbo frets. Now they don't say anything about stainless and at 400 bucks, I and mean, this ain't Firefly, they're not gonna be stainless, but that Ebony Tech fretboard and those jumbo frets make that guitar play really well. Mm -hmm. yep. So overall, do your research. If you're in the market for a guitar, don't buy nothing until you go check these out, whether it's six string or seven string. I think the sixes are back around 300 bucks. Um, don't quote me on that because this is all brand new and you know, you need to be, well, you don't have to be happy, but you should be happy because you're getting to see it reviewed first. Yep. All right, guys, make sure to jump on the memberships, man. Make sure to get it on the super thanks button. Anything you guys do help, anything you can do helps us keep doing what we're doing. And if this channel lasts for a while, maybe I won't be divorced. <laughs> right. My wife was like, what? Two? Anyway. Back to back. Right? All right, guys. We really appreciate you. Uh, make sure you share these videos, like these videos. If you watch the intro, you know how to get in on the drawing for this. Um, coming up this Saturday, because we give guitars away on Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be giving away that Tease SVH HD, nice. that Telly. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice guitar, man. One of you guys is going to be... Uh, very fortunate to get that guitar, and we'll be giving that away on Saturday. And then on the next review, uh, we're going to be reviewing the cousin, sister, whatever you want to call it. Family member. Visit. Yep. And I think you're going to be really impressed with it. Yeah. I am. Yeah, I'm sounds really good. impressed with it. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please share the videos. I don't care if you've already done it for the deal. Just share the videos. The more people get on here, the more expensive guitars we give away. Yep. And until next time, stay tuned.